Baylor Bears 18 H. Ashley Landis, staff photographer file, Baylor Bears head coach Matt Rule yells at a referee during the first quarter of a college football game between Baylor and the University of Texas on Saturday, October 13, 2018 at Daryl K. Royal Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas. Ashley Landis, The Dallas Morning News by Chuck Carlton, staff writer at Chuck Carlton Ben Waco, Matt Rule has gotten used to the questions about the NFL and his future as Baylor's coach. If the interview a year ago with the Indianapolis Colts didn't open the door, then certainly the media coverage of his discussions with the New York Jets did. In a 40-minute interview Thursday following Wednesday's National Signing Day press conference, Rule acknowledged the talks with the Jets took on a life of its own. He said he had other less publicized NFL inquiries, too, although not as many as the six that the Des Moines Register reported that Iowa State coach Matt Campbell had. Oh, and for the record, he did not talk with the Dallas XFL franchise but says he's glad Bob Stoops is back in coaching. Right now, Rule understands that the talk of the pros, for now, is part of the story, just like him leading Baylor out of scandal to a 7-6 season and a Texas Bowl victory. Rule said he gets asked about it a bunch. I try to be honest. I say when they reach out to me, I'm going to listen. But the one thing I try to get across to people is, I'm not sitting there with resume in hand, like, please interview me, a look inside the millions of dollars universities in Texas are spending to find elite recruiting classes the questions in recruiting linger, too, although rule status isn't much different than a lot of coaches. In the Big 12 alone, only TCU's Gary Patterson and Oklahoma State's Mike Gundy have been at their schools longer than three seasons, the thing that I try to get across to recruits is that I didn't go. It would be one thing if I went but I didn't go, Rule said. That should tell them just how much I like it here, just how much my family likes it here, just how much our coaches and staff like it here. We really have a good thing. I didn't want to not be here. I didn't want not to finish this job. I didn't want them to not see us take the next step. The lure of the Jets was undeniable. Who grew up in New York with Jets posters on his wall. He took the subway, to school and remembers the route, starting with the Q train to 59th Street. Yet, he didn't go. While Rule said the Jets were, first class, and didn't go into detail about what derailed discussions, there were reports that Jets management wanted to pick Rule's assistance. Rule did tell Waco's KRZIAM 1660 that he never wanted to be in an arranged marriage regarding his staff. During Thursday's interview, Rule shared a discussion he had with Duke coach David Cutcliffe. Cutcliffe relayed something that Joe Paterno, Rule's college coach at Penn State, told him on a Nike trip. Once you find the right fit, Paterno told Cutcliffe, don't go chasing something else. Cutcliffe told Rule that he really hoped Baylor would be the right fit for him. That keeps playing in my head, Rule said. You don't know if anything is the right fit until you look at other things. But every time I looked at other things, I've said, boy, I really want to be at Baylor, while some coaches' offices could double as the lair of a Fortune 500 CEO, Rules has a decidedly lived-in look. Tangled computer electronics sit on the desk. Binders from past seasons are stacked on bookshelves. Rule has to ask football media relations director Taylor Bryan about the whereabouts of the Texas Bowl trophy. Why it's hard to imagine ex-Baylor coach Art Bryles will get any more job interviews in the near future Rule has books, lots of them. The last good book he said he's read is Extreme Ownership, How U.S. Navy SEALs Lead and Win, which he described as awesome, his success at Baylor is drawing strong reviews. After Baylor became bowl eligible, A.D. Mack Rhodes said it was not a validation for Matt Rule but a validation in terms of the process, Clemson coach Dabo Whitney noted Rule's enthusiasm in the Texas Bowl win over Vanderbilt. How pumped was Coach Rule? How pumped was he? How excited were those kids after the game, Swinney said. It hasn't been easy with the recovery from scandal, I can say I had an idea what I was walking into. I really didn't, Rule said.
It's just so much bigger, even with a new coach, AD and president, things have continued to be challenging. Rule remembers his first Baylor recruit James Lynch, now his top pass rusher, calling with concerns when a major federal lawsuit was filed just before Lynch signed. This year, Art Briles interviewed at Southern Miss just before signing day, creating a firestorm. Rule said he lost one recruit this year who was worried about the result of the NCAA investigation. He's tried to make the most of it. When the Big 12 was reviewing Baylor's review process, Rule met several times with Title X attorney Janet Judge. What was great for me was because I had a chance to learn from her. Because even some of the questions, like do you do this and do that, Rule said. I told her, I don't know. Should we? It told us we were doing a great job but we can. Do more, Major League forward Baylor tied for the biggest improvement from 2017 to 2018 among FBS schools, school 2017-2018 jump Baylor 1-1-1-7-6-6 wins Florida 4-7-1-0-3-6 wins Syracuse 4-8-1-0-3-6 wins.